Last night, the University of Salford Student Union elections were announced. After a week's hardcore campaigning for the president's role, um, sorry, Michelle Said was elected as the union's president for the next academic year. And we are now joined by, uh, sorry, by Michelle in the studio. So thanks for coming in, Michelle. And um, how did you manage to convince the students to vote for you? Um, I made a lot of effort in um, understanding the diverse sort of issues that students face. Um, and I think I, was, um, I went everywhere and um, made an effort to speak to as many students as possible. And um, I made, made a note of all the things they wanted to change in the university as well as in the students' union. Um, and yeah, <laughs> it well, was a well done, crazy three weeks. Yeah, congratulations. Really well, well, done. well done. And uh, what's the first thing you're going to do when you get into office? Um, the first thing, well, <laughs> there's quite a lot that I want to do. I want to make sure that our students' union engages with students regardless of with, where they're based or what they study. Because I think we, we really just stay in the university house and wait for students to come to us. Whereas being the sole re representative body of Salford students, we should be more proactive in engaging with students. And I think I'm going to start off on that point. Hopefully. Okay, so you, uh, you've just highlighted your policies there. So how, so how are you going to carry out these uh, policies? Uh, which p policies in particular? I've got a long list of them. Uh, the ones you just mentioned there. I'm going to make sure that our students' union has a physical base present in all the main locations um, in the university and that we engage with students regardless of their previous involvement in the union or regardless of what they study. And you've said in your manifesto that these are challenging times to be part of the student movement. Why is that? These are definitely sort of um, challenging times for students. There, there is. In these times of um, austerity, with the fee rise and um, with the decline in student numbers last year, the university was hit with um, an income deficit of around 15 million pounds, due to which they will be making a round of staff cuts like they did last time. I want to make sure that our students' union is um, ready to campaign to defend our frontline staff and services so that our students' um, academic experience is not negatively impacted. And I think that's, that's going to be a big challenge. And are you excited about taking on this role? I am, um, I'm definitely prepared, um, I think. I'm, I'm definitely up for the challenge. Now, um, you said there that the uh, university has quite a large deficit. And of course, on the flip side of that, tuition fees will be on the increase, and they already have been. So how are you going to ensure that student prices on campus are kept as low as possible? Um, I'm, I'm definitely going to try and ensure that our, student, our prices are as low as possible. They are already as low as possible. I'm not, I've, I've tried, in, throughout my campaign, I've tried to make promises which I am confident that I'll be able to keep. Um, we've got, um, recently we launched the USSU discounts app on, the, um, on all these smartphones, which can be downloaded by any student. And hopefully we will keep adding any discounts or any sort of deals that we can um, to that app. And I've had a look at the union website and it does seem a bit dull. Are you going to give it a makeover? And if so, what are you going to do? Yes, we're, we're trying to, we, we, we'll, we'll have a partnership with NUS Digital and the entire website is going to be um, revamped. I'm going to make sure that the website is user friendly and that students are able to sort of relate with, with the website and go on whichever sections that they want to, want to be on. And do you have any plans to integrate um, the students at Media City and Main Campus? Yes, definitely. Um, I, I want to ma make sure that the Students' Union has a base at Media City because I think we don't engage enough with students who, who study here and we could definitely do better. It's one of, one of the things I want to change. So what are your other um, policies then? Well, one of the things I want to initiate is an international alumni fund because international students obviously don't have access to the same um, local financing options as home students do. Another thing that I want to sort of initiate is a safe taxi scheme, which Manchester University also has. Uh, and that will basically enable students to ring up a taxi company, um, whether it's in the middle of the night or at any point uh, during the daytime as well, and enable them to be, um, to be dropped off home after depositing their student ID card if they're out of cash. And then the next day, they could go to the library or university house, pay for the taxi fare, and uh, collect their um, student ID card. Is that going to be logistically possible, though, do you think? Definitely, Manchester does it really successfully, and considering how rough and insecure Salford is, I think this taxi scheme uh, will be brilliant, and it has been well received by students. Now, you said that you want to help the funding for international students. How are you going to do this? We have students at Salford from 150 different countries. This international alumni fund, um, I believe, can be funded by international students because it will be there for um, international students. And I think it's, it's definitely feasible. I've looked into the logistics and um, I'm, I'm confident that I'll be able to initiate it. And do you think students will be interested in getting involved in Keys TV News? We broadcast every week, every Friday. 
Yes, I'm, I'm really keen it's a good, to promote you know, um, the... Platform, sorry. It's a very good uh, platform, isn't it? It's a fantastic platform. Yeah. I'm, I'm really impressed by the professionalism and the dedication of, of people who work in, in Keys News. It's a fantastic platform. And I'm very keen to involve the Students' Union um, in Keys News as much as I possibly can. So what are your aspirations after this job role? After this job role, um, I've still got my third year to get done with in my degree. So I'll get, get back to finishing that, <laughs> hopefully. Yes, that's, um, those are my immediate plans for now. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Thank you.